There were angry scenes in the Doyle this morning. Sinn Féin claimed some local authority tenants had been threatened with eviction if they didn't pay their water charges. Earlier, Micheál Martin asked if Irish water was worth the trouble given the limited revenue it would raise. 16 days since water charges were introduced, the issue dominated the Dáil. The Fianna Fáil leader saying it was only worth about 150 million in revenue terms. Is it worth it? Is the establishment of Irish water worth uh, all, the, all the challenges, the extraordinary expense involved in setting up a, a gold plated bureaucracy? The health of citizens, adequacy of water supply, and adequacy of water for further investment into the country is essential. Thank you, I'm saying to you that the best way to do that is to do it not through 34 local authorities which failed but to do it through a single modern consumer focused utility. Sinn Féin's Mary Lou Macdonald produced a letter from Wicklow County Council to rental accommodation scheme tenants which she said makes clear that failure to pay water charges could result in their eviction. The Thornister pointed out Sinn Féin and independents had control of Wicklow County Council and advised her to take the time out to ring her party colleagues on the issue. If anyone had any doubts as to whether or not you gave a toss about struggling families. They've had, by your smart Alec, dismissive and inaccurate response, they have their answer. So smart Alec, the chair, please, through the chair. Smart Alec Tanisha thinks it is smart to disregard the concerns that RAS tenants now have that their inability to pay your awful charge could jeopardise their home. John Burton said the budget contained 200 million in spending, including a back-to-work dividend scheme. Where somebody in the household takes up employment and goes back to work. You see, I'm not sure that you have much personal experience of what it is like not to be well off or to be unemployed. And I think that in lecturing, in choosing to lecture, in choosing to lecture me about issues like that, or indeed other deputies, in choosing... In cho Helen Donoghue, RTE News. Well, our political correspondent Martina Fitzgerald has more and joins me now. Uh, Martina, among all the issues of Irish water discussed this morning, uh, the issue of bonuses at Irish water was also quite a hot topic. That's right. Uh, water is just not going away as a political issue and it won't uh, as people start paying their bills next year. But Fianna Fáil focused today on, uh, on bonuses within Irish water or what they believe to be bonus payments this year, now, despite utterances from Irish water and of course various government politicians. Now, they made the point that Irvi, and that's the parent company now for Irish Water and Board Gosh uh, Networks, that it revealed that there was 545 staff shared 3.7 million in bonuses in 2013. But they're saying there's been a massive jump this year and that 5.1 million in bonuses has been paid to 940 staff uh, this year in 2014. So they're suggesting that it would be inconceivable that this does not include Irish Water staff. So that's quest the question. Uh, have or have they not been paid bonuses? And it's a very politically sensitive one. And really, Irish Water are going to have to come out very quickly and today and clarify this. Martina, thank you.